So some idiot contractor used four nineties to make this repair. Ruined the pressure of the system. Oh my God, I think we're just gonna have to rip out the whole system and install a new one. What an idiot. So when you install four nineties, you are barely affecting the PSI at all. Every single thing you possibly do to a sprinkler system, you're going to affect the PSI. It's going to have an effect on the pressure loss. 490s, you're gonna be looking at less than 0.01 PSI, negligible. If you install 490s like this on a sprinkler system and the pressure drops significantly, then something else was the matter with the system. It's not the 90s. On this same job over here, did exactly the same thing. Now keep in mind when you're working on like residential, so anything up to inch and a quarter, inch and a half, doing this trick is fine. When you get to two inch pipe, that's when you really need to be careful because you're gonna be working with a lot more flow. So it can still work with two inch, even two and a half inch, but I would leave it at least 12 hours, at least possibly even 24 hours to dry. These repairs here, anything less than an inch and a half, especially if you're using Christie's Blue Glue, 30 minutes, absolutely fine. You're gonna have no problems, but anything larger then I would probably go with a bolt dresser um, or something a bit more mechanical. A slip fix, yes, it would have worked, but I always think it's a good idea to practice fixing things without a slip fix because you never know, you might end up on a job site where you don't have one or you've got a couple with you and then you use a couple and then you're like, crap, I've ran out and now you've got to run to the store. You're always going to have 90s on your truck, so you might as well get used to practice using them. What actually used to be here is pretty cool. You can see this pipe, so you've got the inch and a quarter, you've got the fitting and then it reduces down to one inch, it then goes up into a brass riser, brass sprinkler head, and then they concreted round it with a donut. Oh my God, <laughs> nightmare. Plus it was right next to a tree. When I turned up and saw this leaking and came over and saw the head, I was like, oh no. This is gonna be an absolute nightmare, but it ended up being very easy digging, an easy repair that took me less than 10 minutes. Take away from this, practice using 490s. Yes, you can use a slip fix, which is a lot easier, but if you can get used to fixing them with this, then it doesn't matter what type of um, repair you're doing, you're always gonna be able to fix it because you're always gonna have the materials, even if you run out of slip fixes. So take away from this, Practice using different techniques to make repairs. And whenever you do 490s, remember it's a negligible PSI loss. It's nothing. If anybody tells you otherwise, then just tell them to go and take a hydraulics course because they clearly haven't taken one.